Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month, brought to you by the NPL Defect Database. My name's Bob Willis and each month we'll look at process defects that you might see during manufacture. The Defect Database also gives you the opportunity of downloading all of the technical reports free of charge, which again picks up on some of the process defects we're discussing. Printed circuit boards can bow and twist during a soldering operation. On wave soldering, if you run a board through the process, inevitably the board is going to sag in the center by one or two millimeters. Now you can reduce the possibility of board sag with the introduction of a solder pallet. This will support the board on four sides. The disadvantage of pallets is that the board will still tend to sag in the center and this is based on the size of the board or the weight of the components. Now it's also possible with a pallet uh, to use a center board support. Now the center board support is basically a piece of wire which is actually fixed to the pallet and the wire supports the board from the underside making sure that the pallet doesn't sag. Another technique that can be effectively used, and one I prefer actually, because then you don't have to spend money on pallets, is to use a center board support to start off with. Now, you can make these yourself or buy these from suppliers. And basically, we have a wire in the solder wave which is supporting the board as it goes through the process. So you can run quite wide boards. They are supported in the center and don't sag. Now, one thing you need to consider is at the design stage leaving a three or four millimeter no-go area on the base of the board. Now this doesn't mean you can't straddle it with components on the top side, it just means there must be no solder termination or no solder point on the base of the board in this particular area. Now this technique has been used for many many years uh, in Asia and it's only recently in the last few years become more popular in Europe and the US. But it's cost effective and works extremely well for high volume printed circuit boards.